tomorrow is your module six test so we will be doing a review for that today there will be paired passages on there so we're going to focus on that everything that we do today i want you to follow along in your reading comprehension notebook so if i ask you a question you're going to write your answer in your notebook and at the end you're going to take a picture and upload it to this assignment so in our paired passage strategies we first need to identify the genre so we're going to read through the first passage and then we're going to to determine is it fiction nonfiction, drama or poetry in our unreal strategies that we use for any passage not just paired passages we are going to first underline the title and predict so i have highlighted here the title is eric uh, so you're going to first write in your comprehension notebook what do you think this passage is going to be about you're going to make a prediction so you can pause the video here write down your prediction i predict this will be about a boy named eric who's trying to become a good friend uh, let's see after we underline the title and predict we need to in number the paragraphs so our paragraphs here are already numbered so on your paper paper and pencil you would circle each um, number that way you keep track of how many how many paragraphs you need to read for that passage so as we see there are five here uh, let's see you in R in Unreal we need to go read the questions but not the answers so that's our second passage what is the difference between the two passages so this is the question just for Eric what lesson does Eric learn read paragraph 3 what word helps the reader know what frail means? Read the meaning for sweep. Sweep, verb, one, to clean, two, to carry away, three, to pass quickly, four, to win all. What does sweep mean in paragraph three? Five, the author probably, oops, sorry. The author probably places the picture in the passage to let the reader know six the point of view of this passage is and then that is all of the questions for eric so now we need to go and read the passage eric my side is killing me it feels like someone thrust a hot spear just under my right rib cage i knew i should have trained harder eric will you ever learn i say to myself i hold my head high as i clamp my teeth together and try to run through the pain it isn't working my legs slow more and more they ache too sweat pours off my body as if someone had sprayed me with a water hose my side seems to hurt even more breaking to a slow walk i rest both hands on my hips and tuck and suck in great heaps of air other runners sweep past my frail body i feel so weak but it's but as I look at these runners, I notice that several of them are way older than I am. They're going. They're not stopping. They look to finish this race. Suddenly, I begin to put one foot in, the, in front of the other. I run faster and faster. The pain in my side returns, but this time, I do run through it. Clenching my hands into fists and keeping my knees up high, I forge ahead. No pass. No one passes me anymore. Instead, I begin to pass other runners. After several grueling minutes, the pain in my side eases. I've got my second win. My shoes pound the pavement with each step. I open my fist and stretch out my legs. The training I've done was not enough, but my will says otherwise. I will finish this race. So let's go and answer the questions for Eric. So number two, I skipped to number one because this is for both passages. Number two, what lesson does Eric learn? F, where there is a will, there is a way. 
G, get plenty of rest between exercises. H, friends can help you better yourself. Or J, being young helps with exercising. So we're going to go through process of elimination together. And again, I want you to write your answer in your comprehension notebook. So F, where there is a will, there is a way. So at the end of this passage, he said, the training I had done was not enough, but my will says otherwise. That lets us know that A, I'm sorry, F could be our answer. So we can put an M next to it for maybe. G, get plenty of rest between exercises. He's not trying to rest between exercises. He's trying to prevail. He's trying to keep going and win. So G is not our answer. H, friends can help you better yourself. This passage had nothing to do with friends at all. It's about him trying to finish the race. So H is not our answer. And J, being young helps with exercise. He talks about how there are people who are older than him passing him up and they are doing better in the race than him. So that has nothing to do with his him being young. So that is not our answer. Our answer here is F. Number three, read paragraph three. Which words help the reader, which word helps the reader know what frail means? Number three, other runners sweep past my frail body. I feel so weak. So other runners sweep past my frail body. A, both. B, older, C, slow, or D, weak. Looking at the sentence right after the sentence with the word frail, it says, I feel so weak. That sentence is included to help us figure out what the word frail means. So our answer here is D. Number four, read the meanings for sweep. Sweep, to clean. Two, to carry away. Three, to pass quickly. Or four, to win all. What does sweep mean in paragraph three? So again, that sentence is, other runners sweep past my frail body. Is it A, bow? Nope, just kidding, wrong question. F, to clean. G, to carry away. H, to pass quickly. Or J, to win all. We know that he's not cleaning at all, so it can't be F. No one's carrying him away. So it can't be G, to pass quickly. People are passing him up as he's racing, so it could be H, we'll say M for maybe. We got to read all of our answer choices. And then J, to win all. He's not winning right now. Um, and as they're passing him up, he's not winning. So it's not J. So our answer here is H. Number five, the author probably places the picture in the passage to let the reader know. So here's our picture right here. Here's poor Eric. Look how tired he looks. He looks exhausted. So the author put that picture to let the reader know, A, where Eric runs in his race. That picture didn't show us that, so no. B, Eric is a winner of the race. Is that what it showed us? Mm, no. C, how Eric runs before he gets his second win. Mm, maybe. D, Eric enjoys practicing as a runner. Doesn't show us that either. So C would be our answer. Number six, 
The point of view in this passage is, remember either first person point of view, I come first, or third person, he, she, them, they. F, first person because the speaker uses the word they. We know that first person does not have the pronoun they, that would be third person, so F can't be our answer. G, first person because the speaker uses the word I, maybe. Third person because the speaker tells the thoughts and feelings of all of the characters. That is not true, that does not happen in this story, so H is not our answer. Or J, third person because the speaker tells the thoughts and feelings of only several of the characters. And we know that is not true. This is not third person. Our answer here is G. Again, if I'm going too fast um, and giving the answers before you can find your answer, please pause the video so you can write down your answer and then you can hear the correct answer. Now we are going to go back and read Miguel. Oh, and we forgot to, this is fiction, so we were writing F at the top of our paper for fiction. Miguel. Miguel jogged easily around the bend of the trail. He kept up a steady pace, as he had done since the start of the race. No other runners were even close to him. Long, lean legs stretched, stretched out with each step. A thin smile spread across his lips. Training, said Miguel to himself. It's all in the training. If you train like you want to run, you will do well. Just look at me. Look at me. Miguel settled down and tried to focus on his running. He needed to keep his mind on the race. Miguel thought back to his training. He had started training for this race six months earlier. Miguel knew that a regular schedule was key to training well and running a successful race. He exercised and did some running every day. Every other day was light was a light training day. This would give his body a chance to rest and get stronger for the next day, a tougher training day. As Miguel reached the top of the last hill, he looked down at the finish line. A crowd of people began to cheer for the first place finisher. That would be Miguel. It's hard to it's hard work that got me here and across the finish line first, said Miguel. So question number one. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do our Unreal strategies. So I hope you guys caught that and I hope you underlined the title and predicted what you thought this was going to be about. And of course you couldn't go back or you couldn't go and look at the questions, but I apologize. I forgot to do our Unreal strategies. Silly Mrs. Sakria. All right. Number one, what is the difference between the two passages? A, Eric's story is about training hard while Miguel's is not. B, Miguel's story is about winning while Eric's is about finishing. C, so that's a maybe. C, Eric's story tells about the beginning of the race while Miguel's tells about the end. Not true because Miguel told us about um, his entire race. D. Miguel's story deals with other runners while Miguel's or while Eric's story does not. And that's not true because Eric's story is the one that told us about other runners and Miguel's story did not. So D is not our answer. Um, and we said C is not our answer. So between A and B, B is the one that is the most accurate because Miguel did train hard. He just um, wasn't as successful as Eric. So B here is our answer. Number two, what lesson does Eric learn? F, well, there's a will, there's a way. We know that's the lesson that Eric learned. So F is not our answer. G, get plenty of rest between exercises. That's something that he did show us. So G might be the answer. H, friends can help you better yourself. Miguel's story had nothing to do with friends, so we know H is not our answer. And J, being young helps with exercising. And again, Miguel's story had nothing to do with his age, so our answer here is G.